exciting days ahead. <laughs> good days and the other kind. But we're going to turn them around to the good days. So I still want to talk to you about the prophetic word. How do you work with the prophetic word? You need to be praying for prophets as you pray for prophets. Then they're in the office of the prophet, which is the authority level that we're not in if we're just well, a bunch of prophetic people. The whole Bible is prophetic, Genesis to Revelation. But what I want to show you is a key of how you can get into these prophetic areas and begin to know things to help with your family and with your business, with your ministries, or wherever you're working or whatever you're doing. You might be needing, like I know somebody that's needing to sell their house. We're looking for that prophetic word, something that's hidden that we don't know what it is. But God will show us, boom, the key. And so that's what we're looking for. So again, we're going to go back to Deuteronomy 29, 29. The secret things belong to our God, but the things that are revealed belong to us. So I want to make sure that you understand how that happens. And let's see, get on down here in verse uh, uh, 12. Now we're talking about the secret things, okay? Verse 12, it is not a secret laid up in heaven. That you should say, oh, I got to go to heaven. That's the only way I'm going to get an answer. Oh, Jesus, take me to heaven so I can say, oh, Jesus. Okay, it said, verse 12, it said that, that that's not the case. This is chapter 30, verse 12. All right. He I said, we, so we can hear it, so we can do it. Verse 13 said, it's not beyond the sea. Oh, I know. We need to go to the other side of the world. <laughs> I know I'm being dramatic, but so are y'all. So here we go. All right. Who will go over the sea for me? Who's going to bring it here? But verse 14, chapter 30, verse 14. But the word is very near you, in your mouth, in your mind, and in your heart, so you can do it. I've set before you today life and blessing, death and evil. All right, so look over, just so you know that I know what I'm talking about. We'll look over here. We're going to go to Romans 10, and we're going to start right here. Uh, verse 7, Romans 10, verse 7. Who shall ascend? Oh, well, let's start with verse 6. Okay, but the righteous is, righteousness is based on faith, imputed by God and bringing right relationship with him. Don't say in your heart. D remember, I just read that in Deuteronomy 30. Don't say in your heart. That is to what? Don't say in your heart. Like, what am I going to do? Do I have to ascend to heaven? Didn't I just read those words to you in verse 14? Am I going to ascend to heaven? Do I need to go up and bring Christ down so I can know these secret things that are happening? I know I'm being dramatic, but you need to have this point driven home to you because you're going to find out how to know what you need to know. I know what I need to know. I know what I need to know. All right, so then in verse... Um, Verse 8, but what does it say? God's message of Christ is near you. It's on your lips, in your heart. That is the word of Christ. That is the message, which is the object of our faith. Okay, John 16. Got it? I'm trying to hurry because I only got a couple of minutes here. <clears throat> John 16, verse 13. But he, the Holy Spirit of truth, truth giving spirit, he will guide you into all truth, the whole truth, the full truth. He won't speak of his own. He's not going to talk of his own authority. He's going to tell you whatever he hears. Now, this is what we need to know. What is he going to tell you? He's going to take of Jesus and he's going to give it to you. And he's about things that are to come. What will happen in the future? He's going to announce and declare to you. How do you think you're going to find that out? It's in your mouth. It's in your heart. You start praying in the spirit and with the spirit. And then you say, Father, I'm asking you according to your word, Corinthians 14, that I pray with my spirit, but also pray with my understanding. He will declare to you future things. He will declare, disclose, and transmit them to you. That is so important. He will take what belongs of Jesus, and he will reveal, declare, disclose, and transmit them to you. How are you going to know? It's in your mouth and in your heart. You start studying, you start praying in the spirit and with the spirit. And God is going to start revealing things to you that you need to know to position yourself properly 
for these next few months where we're going to have some bumps in the road and to position yourself properly for this major outpouring of the Holy Spirit where there are going to be signs, wonders, miracles, and there's no need among us and how God is going to be able to flow through you to get his job done in the United States of America today, right now. God bless.